Hey guys, it's Catfish here again, and welcome back to my channel. The next chapter of Metro Royale is coming out soon, so I wanna uh, talk briefly about what is the best Metro weapon according to science, and when I say science, I mean more like statistical analysis, right? So right here, what I've done is, this is the most updated um, weapon statistics in PUBG Mobile right now. This is up to date to uh, November 2022 with the uh, update 2.3 included, and what that means is that uh, with the new uh, updated uh, car 98 damage that is taken into account. Keep in mind, however, that Metro is always one or two seasons behind on Classic and TDM. So just because in Classic and TDM that these weapons are you know buffed, that doesn't mean you might see them in Metro. So that completely depends on the Metro developers. Anyways, uh, this is different from normal Classic weapon spreadsheets because right here you can see that I included uh, high explosive chest damage as well as high explosive headshot damage. You can see that uh, I took into account how much um, you know damage it would do if you're firing high explosive bullets. Now, these damages are um, collected using intact weapons. The reason that's because not every weapon in Metro has a refined version of it, right? For example, the UMP doesn't have a refined UMP unless you're like very lucky and somehow you stumble upon one, you know, dropped by a boss. So in order to keep everything consistent, I assume that every weapon here is intact, but they're firing high explosive ammo. And as you can see, when you take that into account, the high explosive ammo, the DPS is insane for every single weapon. Um, so I also included the damage it deals to level 4, level 5, level 6 vests, as well as how many shots it takes to kill and the time it takes to kill for each vest. Um, any weapon that takes longer than one full second to kill a level 6 armor, uh, I automatically made it uh, red. So that's a weapon that isn't very competitive. It might be a great weapon in Classic, but it's just not very competitive to the uh, Metro meta, basically. So you can see a lot of these weapons like AMR, like AWM, they're great weapons in Classic, but when you're fighting in Metro, you know, unless you have the ultimate, you know, sniper's talent and you're using a refined and everything, and you can guarantee the one, you know, one shot headshot, they're just not very competitive. Um, so yeah, any weapon that is that takes longer than one second to kill, uh, for level 6 vest, it's automatically red. It's not a competitive weapon. Now, for every other weapon here, above uh, that, you know, above one second, I did a little bit of more of a statistical analysis, and let me explain how I did that. Well, to start off, I calculated the 20% headshot DPS, and what that means is uh, I calculated the DPS if you only hit uh, high explosive chest damage, and I also calculated the uh, DPS if you only hit high explosive headshot, right? And then I assumed that the average player, on average, gets about 20% headshots. So if 20% of your shots hit the head and 80% shots hit the chest, what will your DPS be? So this is a more realistic number than just simply looking at your chest DPS or your uh, headshot DPS. And these are the numbers I got. You know, it's a surprise to nobody that the shotguns are like among the highest DPS weapons. These are collected assuming that you're shooting someone at like point blank range, right? So um, according to my research, as long as you're shooting under 10 meters, these numbers don't waver too much. So, you know, if you're gonna use shotguns, just make sure you, you know, you're engaging enemies under 10 meters. So how did I color code this, right? So what I did was I actually found the average, or I should say the median uh, DPS for, uh, for uh, weapons above one second and weapons below one second. So weapons that take longer than one second to kill, this is the median 20% headshot DPS. And then for weapons that take less than one second to kill, this is the median 20% headshot DPS. How did I decide on medium versus uh, average, for example? Well, weapons like this. Weapons like the DPS, uh, DBS, with an insane, like, outlier DPS will drastically skew the average. So I had to use a median. Now, after I have calculated this median, what was the next step? Well, I calculate the percentage that each of these weapons have over the median of the 20% headshot DPS. So actually, this is not correct. I should say this is the median. This is actually <laughs> a bit of a misleading. There we go. So it's actually, so for example, the DBS is 532% faster than the median 20% headshot DPS. That means its DPS is 532% higher, right? And after that, um, I, you know, I, you know, I applied the same formula to every single gun, and you can see that AKM and MP5K are around the average. So they kill about average speed. What I did next was yellow guns, which are typically average guns, they are plus or minus 10%. 
right? And so it makes sense that this is plus or ten, you know, minus 10%, that green and orange will be plus or minus 30%, right? So um, you can see Groza, these are from 10 to 30% uh, higher DPS than the median. And you can see orange is 10 to 30% lower than the median uh, of the 20% headshot DPS. What about this one? Well, the blue rows are uh, between 30 to 50%. Right, so it's not a surprise that MK14 and MG3, which are currently the two most meta uh, metro weapons, are in this blue column. And then finally, anything above 50% is purple. So, a quick look at the logistical weakness column. So, I went through each weapon here and decided what is, was the most significant logistical weakness when using this weapon. And obviously, DBS being a shotgun, it's range, right? So, any enemy above 10 meters, you're gonna struggle killing them. Uh, S686, being a double shotty, has a low capacity. You can't really squad wipe with it. Same thing with a sawed-off shotgun. The S4K is, is interesting because even though it is a fast-firing semi-automatic shotgun, the rate of fire is excruciatingly slow. Um, at 0 0.2 seconds per bullet, that's like half the speed of an SKS spam tap. That means as fast as you can tap, you will only be able to shoot five times per second, which sounds fast, but it really isn't. It makes it you know, extremely difficult to land uh, follow-up shots on your target. Uh, the NS2000 shotgun just got released, and so we have no idea how it's going to perform. Uh, both MK14 and MG3 are not bad. You know, they, they have, you know, weaknesses for sure, but, you know, in the Metro meta, they're very competitive weapons. And then I wouldn't recommend any weapons underneath green because anything under green, like the AUG Mini-14 Uzi, they're great in classic, but they just kill too slow against level six armor. So if you're going to pick a weapon, I will recommend, uh, green and higher. So these weapons over here, um, I wouldn't recommend green because a lot of the green weapons are basically weaker versions of purple or blue weapons. Like for example, Groza is great, but it's like it's not as competitive as, as MK14 or MG3. Vector has low capacity, and pretty much every weapon below that, like the SLR, FAMAS, SKS, QBU, are just weaker versions of better weapons. So that's pretty much it. Um, if when the Metro comes out, I will recommend you to buy uh, MK14, MG3. You know that's extremely obvious. Um, DBS is very interesting because shotgun shells in Metro are in very, very cheap. You know, uh, high explosive shotgun shells cost just a little bit more than a polished 7.62. So if you're just starting out, you want, you know, you're low on money, you want to use a gun that doesn't cost too much to operate, I would recommend a DBS. All right, that's pretty much it. See ya.